Hello everyone, this is VJZ32 back again. Uh, trying out a new angle here, as you can see. Today we have a new deck review for you. Today I am looking at a deck that was uh, sent to me by Randy Butterfield at Midnight Cards that he designed and produced, self-funded. And uh, I want to thank you for sending it to me. It's a beautiful deck, a gorgeous deck. It's the Parisian deck of cards. And uh, yeah, so let's go check it out. Alright, so this is the Parisian deck from Midnight Cards and designed by Randy Butterfield. He, I think I mentioned this in the self-funded this one. There was a thousand that were printed by Expert Playing Cards. These were printed at a new Tidies printer that Expert is using. So not uh, the same one they've used before and it's very similar I guess to the Taiwan printer. It has a classic finish. He released these at Magic Live and he was kind enough to send one my way. I appreciate that very much. It's a beautiful looking deck. It has beautiful copper foil on the tuck case as well as a textured matte stock and blue Panton uh, accent colors as you'll see. With metallic gold and blue inks on the cards themselves. It is a fully marked deck and he will be making these available on his website somewhere around August the 15th I believe and they are available currently at playingcarddecks.com as well if you don't want to wait. The fret says Parisian premium playing cards and beautiful copper foil. This is inspired by the architecture of the Eiffel Tower and then it continues on the side it says pointed by the expert playing card company Designed by Randy Butterfield and the other uh, Midnight Cards established 2012 on top. Can't believe it's been that long. It's his first decks printed by Expert Point Card Company on the bottom with his logo, Classic Fittus. MidnightCards.com, link in the description. And in the back, you see some more foil detail. And I don't know if you can really tell. I'm trying to sway from the inside, but there is. A embossed texture to the tuck it's hard to see with all the foil you can kind of see it there a little bit and here it says Le Dame de Fer the Iron Lady which is what the Iron Eiffel Tower is also known as with a little midnight cards pip and here we got a couple of little floral copper things details and like I said it is a marked deck you do get a uh, card that tells you about the markings um, right, also here in the front it says Emerald 19 which stands for Magic Life 2019 I don't know if you can see it or not it is so beautiful tuckers, beautiful cards you get a couple of jokers, they are the Eiffel Tower and they're almost identical but they're not, there's a slightly different color to them, it says Joker on the bottom and La Dame the Fur the Iron Lady and this is the Eiffel Tower as it was upon completion at the 1889 World's Fair. So a bit different than what it looks like today, I do believe. Very nice. The back design looks like that. Kind of a copper color. Uh, nice circular patterns in the center. I guess this is what, looking down to it? This is like the top maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Looks very nice. I could be wrong on that. Um, so yeah, it is your bat design. The Ace of Spades. There is metallic gold and blue inks, as I mentioned. Beautiful pip for the Ace of Spades. Says Parisian premium point cards. Put the bias for point cards. Designed by Midnight Cards. You get big aces for the other aces. Big pips, I should say. And the court cards, uh, as you might expect, are basically standard. They recolored in blue and gold. Metallic inks, you especially see the blue. I'll just show you a few. Nice bold black border on them as well. So a little bit different than standard, but basically standard. And then number cards as well, straightforward, standard. Um, they are marked, like I said, it's all about the little details. I'll see if I can identify some for you. This one is, it is. I can recall how to do this. <laughs> I know it's it's a it's a club. Is it? Like the five clubs? 
Oh, four of clubs. That was close. I was in the vicinity. I was super close. Uh -huh. I believe this one is a spade. And it is... Like the seven of spades? Uh, eight of spades. I get it. I was in the vicinity. I'm not 100% an expert on reading these. Um, there are a embossed lane finish. A classic finish, as I said. Very nice stock and finish combination. It's a new stock and finish, I guess you can say, printed by a new printer uh, in China. And handles very nicely, very similar to the Taiwan quality. Better than the previous Chinese printing quality, that is for sure. Overall, this deck is, uh, the marking system isn't too difficult to read, I should point out. Um, you might be able to figure it out yourself. It's all about the circle, let's just say that once. It handles great, <clears throat> nice stock and finish. Yeah, if you look closely, you might be able to see the weaving of the finish, or the embossing. <laughs> um, handles great, looks great, 100% 10 out of 10. Again, thank you very much to Randy for sending it my way. I always appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing what he has next. Like I said, these are going to be available at MidnightCards.com, somewhere around the 15th, I believe, around his birthday, and are available right now at PlayingCardDex.com if you don't want to wait. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.